All right, guys, it's Sunday. It's so hot out there. It's like 93 something degrees. So I was just playing with my kids outside. Let them just get wet out here. And I was just on the side, just drinking Corona, as always. So now I have to clean it up. And take care of some weeds, backyard. Since I'm in town this weekend, gotta get some home improvement done. Gotta get this out, get all these out. I gotta get some long sleeves. As you can see, I got my Titan. So I traded my um, Santa Fe and also the F-250. The F-250, they wouldn't even give me much for it. I actually lost money on that, but you know, I'm not complaining. That truck was really like, anytime it was like ticking time bomb and just 6 so in general just has so much issues. So I had no issues. So I just decided to, I've been just eyeballing different trucks. Um, I really wanted to get a Ford Raptor. I had, I actually even put down a deposit last year for it, but you know, I don't think I want to baby the truck. I'm just going to give you a little closer look. Nice and clean, no navigation or anything. Just whatever you need. But surprisingly, it didn't come with the auto mirror. I can't find the switch. So I, I'm guessing, even the salesman, he couldn't tell me where it is. So obviously, obviously it doesn't have it. So it's a manual side mirrors. Yeah, I love the fact that it has those hydraulic ones instead of you go, you know, and nice and clean. Love it. So Japanese, they could probably put another engine in here. So much space. It looks like EC right there. You don't need two batteries or anything for that diesel. Six so. So yeah, it's really clean. Love it. Stock flange, <clears throat> just capping off, just capping off, and uh, you still need the HKS blow valve, just capping off. The, the car that's supposed to show up here is not here yet. Is it, is he, is it coming today or? supposedly coming which messed up our schedule last week now it's gonna mess up our schedule for this week as well but it's not here yet so we're just gonna concentrate on this veloster and uh, we're gonna do a tune after the blow valve was actually acting up last time so it's going with the different blow valve route Tomei Turbo showed up on Friday for a customer coming on Wednesday from Alabama and my trailer hitch just showed up and it's the wrong one so i gotta i gotta return this one and order the right one hopefully uh i have enough time before saturday because i gotta tow that car to the uh poconos for the ready set drift event so i just had to work on some car that was just showed up out of nowhere looked like the um his bk2 <clears throat> wastegate was seized and some my issues with the uh, solenoid so I replaced all of them and sounds like it's boosting now and I got all the um, stock parts for this car right here the Veloster's set up on the dyno and another coal part car right here oh I'm just kidding it's Aaron's car and there's another car out here the tow truck actually just dropped this off this morning engines all tilted delivered great has a blown engine we're gonna replace the engine and we do the whole turbo setup oh my god what happened here it's all rusted this fender is no good and thanks to um 
the seat that's not even bolted down. I don't know how we're gonna move this car. And that side is actually gone too. Bar on the dyno. Uh, for some reason, the EC bricked. And this customer slash friend, he's a really you know good guy, and uh, he he understands sometimes stuff like this happens. So he, I actually drove him uh, home, which took me like an hour to get there and an hour to drive back. But I didn't mind, and he was cool cool about it. So I'm gonna take care of that within a couple of days. 7:30, and you know I'm actually left with all these Copart cars. Good news is Aaron took care of this wheel. Now it's straight, but it's missing the suspension. He didn't hook it up. I gotta take them off from the this Copart car so at least it'll actually drive straight you know I could actually push it back and forth so my agenda for today is um, basically I'm gonna probably go in there and start kicking this out a little bit from inside you can see a huge dent right there but Aaron actually pulled some of, some of the stuff out earlier you can't really tell on the black car but you could definitely see it here just bowl down the whole intake manifold uh, put the uh, throttle body on you know hook up all the sensors I'm gonna probably put the de put the bash bar back on here and put the CX racing intercooler and position the uh, blow off valve everything's temporarily hooked up and the car started just fine I mean it's running with the bigger injectors Obviously it's idling a little bit weird, but other than that, you know, there's no leak or anything that I was kind of worried about on this uh, intake manifold because we had that issue at one point and it was supposedly revised and we never tried it. Now I have the CX Racing intercooler core that I bought off uh, from a customer. I like to actually put that on um, since that's the only intercooler I have here. Not the best ones, but you know, I'll do the job. What I have to do is I gotta cut all these uh, mounting points and just kind of relocate the horns somewhere that I could actually put this core right behind the uh, bash bar. I'll barely probably clear it and have the uh, end tank shooting out on each side. And it will look something like that. A little weird. It looks like, um, I don't know, Veloster or something. But, um, yeah, I'm still thinking. I mean, I was like, I'm just very tired today. By the way, here is the, uh, some of the damage that this car initially had. All the uh, arms, camber arms and toe arms. They're all bent, as you can see. And um, this part was also broken, so I had to replace the whole whole thing. New type of frigid here. Yeah, doesn't work. All right, so let me go back in there. So it's like 9:30. I gotta go home and edit this video and also catch up with some of the online stuff. So I'm just gonna call it a day today, um, and I'll just see you on the next video. 95 degrees of weather tomorrow, so I'm not so excited about that, but I try to get anything updated as much as I can for tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Stop.